Hello, here's my uh, CompuPro 816 uh, S100 system currently running uh, MPM86. I have uh, three terminals set up. One, two, three, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate generating an MPM system file using uh, the uh, Genesis command. Delete old MPM sys, sure. Now it reads the uh, MPM modules. Took me a while to get the right ones on the disk. They're all coming off the floppy drive here. And I have a uh, cheat sheet down below. <laughs> um, starting paragraph uh, 800 would be if you're using a hard disk, or since I'm doing floppy right now, I set it to 40. Uh, consoles, I can currently run four uh, printers. Uh, I don't even have one, but we say we have one. Character control blocks would be the sum of four and one, so they put five. Uh, the rest of these are just kind of defaults. System drive will be A for now. Extra process descriptors, uh, CompuPro recommended 40. Uh, paragraphs per process. Now, 2000 gives us uh, uh, 128K per application. Um, since I've got at least three terminals here, um, I'm going to lower that. I'll put in a thousand, which gives us 64k max per uh, application, basically. Um, is that a default? Now, we're not going to have a hard drive, so I won't leave uh, the uh, resident system process for hard drive in there. I will leave MPM stat in there, which you can then you can uh, check your memory and so forth without actually having to have it on a disk. Uh, shell, yes, we will use a shell. this done. Now if I reboot this, it's loading up. Now we're currently running on all three displays. If I do npm stat, it runs that out of memory. Uh, it doesn't have to load it from disk, and it uh, shows the uh, memory allocations. <laughs> 